You're now tuned to SDE Podcast with the Skip Bayless of Rap. Hustle. Yo, SDE Podcast. We lit the night. We got my best friend in the building. Naked Wonderlust. Asia. I don't know. What, what, who are you tonight? I'm Asia Kati. Okay. Always Asia Kati. You gotta speak up six. How tall are you? Seven. Oh. Seven. <clears throat> right. Just so that's clear. We got T in the building with a Y. Of course, we got my dog Jimmy in the building. What's good, y'all? Hey. Yeah, I sound dead as shit right now. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Y'all don't even <laughs> sound hype. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy to be here. I'm extremely happy to be here. Are you fucking serious? I don't know, Asia. You know I'm happy to be here. Yeah, you know I mean, but the, the I came all the way from Atlanta. Shout to out here. to Atlanta. Yeah, you know I mean, it's about to be lit in Atlanta. Um, what's good? What's what's popping with you? I did I play? I feel like I played one of your snippets on like an old episode. Yeah, you did. You played that one song I sent you, Me and Will. Me and Willie. What's uh what's what's going on with you though? Everything. Music, life, getting paid to live my dreams. Like what? Tell the fans what's going on. Hold on, for one, get your IG, your follows. No, I don't like I don't wanna force people to follow me. So what? They don't even know me. They ain't gonna follow me, I don't care. No, that's not y'all want fans? <laughs> no. Yeah. You want fans, yo, fuck that. If you don't do it, I'm going to do it for you. What's your IG? It's Naked Wanderlust. At, <clears throat> that's where you be let at. Facebook. Too personal? I'm Asia Kati. I mean, you, you an artist. You post to... I feel yeah. like if people want to know who I am, they'll find me. and Or they'll meet me. And we'll decide then. Well, I'm promoting you, so you on here. Fuck that. Follow everybody. T, what's your at? What's your IG? T dollar sign. T dollar sign. That's lit. But it's spelled. You gotta spell it. T I E Y. It's T. That's me. That's cool. You see what I'm saying? Niggas was looking for the wrong T dollar sign. Wouldn't have been following the right person. Jimmy, your shit's still the same, though? Yeah, man, same shit. 410 Jimmy in the building. Yeah, yeah man, what's good with you, bro? Shit, man, I'm over here tripping out, thinking about this package game. I just seen uh, Brett Henley was going off for real. He was not going off. He was missing some long balls, but he had like 12 drops. Shit was shitty. Yeah. Man, and it's over like, all right, though. They gonna be all right. Shout out to the NFL. What's good with my man Diddy? Shout out my man Diddy. Trying to buy the Panthers. Well, I haven't heard much about it since he said he, he wanted to buy the Panthers. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Him, Kaepernick, and Steph Curry. Try I would put definitely in. Definitely change the game. But the owners got to vote. That's what niggas don't understand. The owners got to vote if they can buy the team or not, though. So. I feel like they should vote yes. If they don't, they're gonna look real bad. Yep. At a time like this, go they don't give a no. fuck. I feel That's like true, but they, they should. We'll see how it tips. I the feel like they didn't put his name on anything. If you put it out, that's there, what I'm saying. It's it's he's smart. Yeah, exactly. We'll see he how it tips. He waited yeah. until the right moment. If right, it exactly. Makes something public, it's that's what I'm saying. The through. time, the time. Yeah. Right, I don't mean it's gonna go through, but I mean if it, it's, it's putting pressure on it. Right, it's a good time. Definitely putting pressure. We'll see how it tips. Well, I mean, I hope he get the shit. You did y'all? So yeah, I'm assuming you didn't see the nigga on the what was it? The news or they little sports shit in L. A. This and that. He's pretty much saying the nigga was high. He was drunk. Of course, they gonna try to discredit him when he trying to do some big shit. That's what people do, and people like Diddy persevere. And next, I don't fuck with shit like that though. You feel me? I'm, what that he was high. Nah, the, the nigga is saying shit like that. Who said, what did he say? I don't know, exactly? I, I can't. First off, in the picture they had up of Diddy or the video, he had on shades. He did. You couldn't even see his face. And they so were just was saying really anything. Him? They were like, oh, he must have been high. He must have been smoking weed. Uh, Basically, yeah, like trying to just laugh him out. 
But what was so, he saying? Uh, Pretty much that Diddy almost insinuating Diddy can't buy the team. Uh, that's what a person was saying about Diddy. Yeah, some sports people. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, this means what? It made it made a uh, shade room and shit. Are these Maybe people like? Play? Are these people important? Is what I'm saying. Are these the deciding factor people? Nah, they not nobody it? deciding factor. So then, who factor. cares that they said it? That's what I I'm feel asking. like. Like you said, it was on the shade room. At the same time, he said it, but it's getting exposed as stupidity. That's what I'm saying. Like, who are who's the person that said it? Like, why? No why does this person said, have clout? Everybody's looking at it now, like because of what he, he said. said Look stupid. He said, "Oh, what he said made sense to people." Nah, I don't. To Did some he people, say something factual. That's what I'm saying. Did he nah, have nah, paperwork nah, nah, that nah, said nah, nah, nah. he can't buy the team. Like, Man, you gotta see the interview. You gotta see it. That's what I'm for, saying. Because I don't to understand. Get it. You gotta say if we, that's Some what I'm saying. Some random person went on a rant and said, Nah, you gotta say it. You have to say it. I'm gonna okay. just skip the uh, thing. We're gonna, we gonna get the, uh, the other joint. But on top of that, oh my God. Yeah. Joe Button leave an everyday struggle. You watch Everyday Struggle? No, I heard of it. How you feel nah, about bro, it? We're not going there yet, bro, because we didn't even. That was just a bunch of misunderstanding as far as people trying to. Everybody was trying to figure out what happened. What happened was there was, I feel like I got there was news coverage. There was news coverage with a picture of Diddy. Mm-hmm. I was trying to find the shit. Mm-hmm. And they were basically just discrediting him and saying that basically look at this nigga. He trying to buy a team. Like he, who mm-hmm. is this guy? He looks hot. Mm-hmm. He on mm-hmm. shades. Mm-hmm. They were just trying to discredit him in any way to say just and random you, negative shit about him. Got you. So people that start getting there, you know what I'm saying, getting on that path to, to towards like going against it. Right, right, right. Trying to get you some traction. Really, there is none. Mm-hmm. But the only thing that we do know that's factual is that the, um, what is his name, Richardson or whatever, uh, the owner of the Panthers, mm-hmm. the only thing he said about anything because of all this uproar about did he want the team is we're not talking to any about anybody about anything right now. He just made it clear that until the season is over, right. they're not shopping the team. Right. So all Which of this. Which is smart business. Like, Right, that's what he was going to do probably regardless. Right, exactly. When he made note of it. He, that's out there in the air now. So until the, thing the season is, is over. Like, the thing is, if that, that conversation ultimately ain't going to have shit to do with people. Like, mm-hmm. it's going to be the team owner's decision. So, like, regardless of whatever. Popular they opinion put, has I, exact, a lot to do with the, the, the owner's so? decision. Though. Ultimately, though, ultimate, ultimately. Think about the There are no politics. black owners. Exactly. But at the same time, like he's saying, I feel like if enough people will get behind it and it they can so get the funding for it, then, I mean... Get the funding they, to what? Have, Make Diddy the not get a team? Be that's right, crazy. Yeah, Diddy could buy his, his That's what I'm stuff. saying. Like, like he if he want that... T- man. He would have to liquidate all his assets. Yeah, I, don't I don't know how much the team costs. Yeah, we don't know how much the team I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's not impossible that he could make that happen if that's something that he wants. Right. I think it's possible. Exactly $65. By the way, how can you take Diddy seriously? Turn it up. That's just how my phone goes, right? I'm pretty sure they said worse shit about Dr. Dre and look where he at. Honestly, I can't take this guy serious. Like, like listen to we me say worse shit about Trump every day and he's our fucking president. You got me fucked up if you think Diddy can't buy a team like I'm sorry I'm a black person I'm not gonna you ain't gonna tell me Trump could get in office and Diddy can't buy a fucking team I'm sorry you're not gonna tell me that in no way shape or form he could try to buy a team yeah he could succeed too but it, there's a lot more to it though like Stephen A was kind of speaking out against it saying that uh, man, he can't do it Stephen A was speaking out saying that uh, like he yeah, came, out, he came out too loud and too early basically like trying to like put it out there maybe he can't do it now well, maybe now means, maybe it fucks it up for now or whatever but well, I'm we don't never know when the team will go do back on sale I don't give a shit you that can't do tell matter. you he can't might say die he don't before the team go another team that's go back so, on that's sale that's so extra that's so extra nobody was ever too loud and too early trying to get a black head coach position but they, they, they enacted a Rooney rule and if you don't know what that is that means that you have to interview a certain X amount of black people for certain positions in, in, in all coaching positions in the NFL. And it doesn't mean they have to be hired, but it means a certain percentage of them have to be black. 
And so with that being said, if you ain't hiring nobody black, it means you definitely being, you know what I'm saying, biased. Mm-hmm. So that's why black people started getting in there. Tony Dungy was one of the first people that really started taking advantage of the Rooney Rule and started bringing in mad black coaches, bro. Like most of the coaches, like Mike Tomlin was one of his defensive coaches, one of the youngest, most successful black coaches to do it. Like there's a lot, there's a lot more to this shit. There's no rule for uh, getting ownership of the NFL team. It's unprecedented. So they can do what the fuck they want to do. True. That but shit that is means ugly, but it's do, true, though. But that means that he can... That mean, You think he doesn't know? You think he not figuring it out? Word. Like, we sitting here having this conversation from the outside of the game. He right. might be on the inside of the game with some whole other shit. That's why I said, ultimately, the decision is bigger than whatever the fuck we gonna talk about for, out here. For sure. And Period. another thing to say, like, kind of piggyback on that, is that we looking at it so like so much at like a racial standpoint because of that racialized video they put out trying exactly. to discredit him. That's, and that's so the strategy. Us, we have, we're even looking at the wrong point. Exactly. Because in all reality, Diddy is a businessman. He's probably exactly. working with white folks that exactly. really have exactly. that bag. Have I said that. That's what I'm saying. Have, if he wants to make it happen, have, he can make you know what that I'm saying? happen. They got pulled because he's that guy. He's not. He don't look at color like that. He, <laughs> he, so he's poor black tips. people, but he's a businessman. Exactly. And to be a good businessman, you're not looking at skin colors. You're looking at what can we do together. Exactly. And, we, and, he's, probably out, not, and uh, he's probably not. And he's probably not looking at that video or what they said about him. Like that's going to stop what he has going on. That's what I didn't. I'm saying. I didn't think that that would stop him. I just felt like. Uh, that was fucked up for a nigga to say some shit of like that. Of course it was, right. but of course they would do but that. But a nigga though. to say some shit like that. That ain't bro. no nigga. That nigga is. Oh, that was a black African dude that American. was talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought. Oh, that that's nigga disrespectful. Is disrespectful. Yeah, I mean, but that. but you know they put people like that in those positions to do those things so that it sparks these kinds of conversations right. because otherwise we wouldn't be talking about it. We would be like white people hating. Now we gonna rally behind Diddy. But because a black person said it, then it leaves it gives black people a room to be on both sides. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But when the only side is, if this is something that is in talks to happen, then it's either gonna happen or it's not gonna happen. Period. Yeah, but it was foolishness, anyways. I mean, for it just he's he's out of touch with like people like us. I'll just say that I'm not okay, going. Yeah, yeah What's because his name? I don't even know. But I didn't even know I'm not black him out either. Were. I didn't even know Yeah we're gonna put his name out there Yeah he Probably. black But look He got his own liquor What are you talking about He's drinking a 40 <laughs> He got a They said he was, he was drinking a 40 And smoking weed like, That's, bro, what, that's what? what Nip said Nip, Nip tried to fight the nigga he got Then he said liquor. Almost that he will fight Nip and But then, see like Like you said by not saying his name They put people like that In positions like that To do that Yeah shit is corny Like he has whatever Psychological issues He has within himself And then he was given a position And he probably feels justified Because they gave him a voice You know what I'm saying Like mm-hmm. Period Like He don't speak for us And we know that So Most of them niggas Don't speak for us Exactly And we know that And that's why shit still Ultimately goes down The way that it does Everything just and gets talked about however it gets talked about. All right. Also, though, he did. He, I know that you saying he might have shit in the works. He might have shit in the works, but he said it as soon as the nigga said it, though. What? As soon as he said, I'm putting the team up for sale, that's when did he said it. So it wasn't unless. Yeah, it could, but, this, but that's what I'm saying. It could have been a joke. That's what. I'm, but the, well, the point is that I'm not going to say that he's not. it's not something that he's incapable of. I don't give a fuck if... He heard it and made that decision right then and there. If he felt confident enough to stand up and say it as a joke, as a wishful thinking, as manifestation, or as a fucking statement. And that's Diddy. Yeah. That nigga got that money. That nigga got that network. You know what I'm saying? And that nigga got that confidence. He could do whatever the fuck he want to do. Or he could not do whatever the fuck he don't want to do. And... Shout out my nigga Diddy. Diddy I feel like if you're going to have confidence in, it, if in anybody, it's going to be Diddy. Come on, bro. Um, he's done. To he's be done honest, everything that he said honest, he wanted to do. I, I, I would. I would go with, with hoes. I'm going with hoes. I'm going with hoes, man. Yeah, I'm going with Drake. Yeah, yeah, I can go with Drake. I'm definitely going with Drake. Yeah, I can go with Drake. That one. That one move don't justify everything that Jay did. What? Sir. That one move don't justify. I know what that one move generated a significant amount of money, but Jay 
hands is in multiple things, a lot of different things. So That's what's that up. one thing is cool, but it ain't like if you ain't get in on it with him. <laughs> so yeah, all right, cool. Get in on it with Dre. What else has he done? What has he done really before beats? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get in. Kitty and I wouldn't try and get in on what Dre has going on, but I would appreciate his ear, like who he is technically, like as an engineer, because I'm thinking about the type of business that I would want. So specifically, he's someone that I would work with. You know what I'm saying? Just because I know what I would want. I would prefer more so the people surrounding him. You know, he has a great team around him. I mean, really innovative people. So I'm all the way home. I'm going straight with Dr. J. I'm whole 30 I or 40%. I feel like working with 50. any of them would be a blessing. 30 or 40 percent 50 cent, but like, yeah, he's a close number. Really, Hove though. And then, oh. Hove got his hand in too many shits for me to lose. Fuck it. I'm going with Oprah anyways. Fuck it, Dr. Mm -mm. Well, I mean, if you could go we there. We're just talking about so. who we just who we going to rock with as far hmm. as some business shit. I'm going with Oprah because she was, she got a station early. She had a channel early. She was, oh, uh, um, so y'all can't. Diddy caught one right after. Nah, but she was the first. Like, nah, y'all can't even afford to have commercials. I'm going with Queen Latifah. Mm. I'm going with the Queen. Alright. I'm still rocking with Hov, though. Diddy that nigga, though, but I'm still rocking with Hov. Um, All of them, obviously, are bringing something to the culture because they in this conversation. So. Straight up. Is LeVar Ball bringing anything to the culture with this uh, lead my man about to have, Jimmy? Yes, man. Yeah, I fuck with it though. I'm not gonna lie. I I think it's there's a lot of reasons why it won't work. Though I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. There's a G League that's gonna like lose money because of this, and um, there's like I don't know, bro. Like every if, other league other than the league is gonna suffer because of this, if they, if they, if it's successful. Because I mean, all you need is like four or five top recruits to just be like, yeah, fuck it, I ain't even going to school. I'm going to just go they play in this league and fry, and they go to the league. Yeah. And they're going to make money in the process? And they've been talking about paying NCAA athletes for like 10 years, and they ain't get no dollars on yet? Oh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play with this bar by the league, because they all going to the league anyways. Yep. Shit. And I might as well go get this, get this paper, I mean, to go. Ooh. So, what do you, hold on, so why are you saying it's not going to work? Because there are leagues for people that are prepping to go to the league or trying to get there or on the on the border and shit, and that's normally where they play. If they're gonna play in his league instead. People gonna have some say so, bro. Like, yeah, they gonna, gonna be mad. Be, people be doing shit, bro. Like, they gonna be me? mad, but the fact, just like, just like y'all said about Diddy, his well, shit. NCAA boosters might start like oh. really. Hold on though. The fact that he could, the fact that he throwing numbers out there already, meaning he already got investors and he know what he can spend. Well, he got his own capital now because yeah, he got a couple point. M's off of off of this first. Yeah, shooter. that's not enough though. A couple of M's ain't enough to I pay what, what he's saying. saying. He, he has he, investors though. Once you have money, now you got people that look at you as somebody that you in the game now. Let's we can do shit together. Yeah. So either way, he has this shit already worked out. So. Uh, he, he, he been had people take him seriously as a businessman. Ben had that. Clearly. About 18 months ago. Yeah, clearly. People really looking at him like, oh, damn. Well, what can we do with this? You know what I'm saying? That I don't see how it's going to fail, bro. Just like you said, if they got... That's like saying a nigga can't rap because it's other rappers. Right. I feel you. But you can be blackballed in the game. We they can try. Right. We can try. We see him. They try to blackball him. Any, they they really try to blackball him, and it really just work out in his, fa in his favor, yo. I don't know. The more they blackball this nigga so he can say they blackballing him, this shit might that's what they want. Might they got to kill this like nigga. XFL. That's, what they, that's the best they can hope for in the XFL about to come back. That's what they're saying, but we're going to see. Hey, Vinnie Mac got that bread. He a billion-dollar man right now, bro. I know y'all don't know nothing about what we talking about and shit, but uh, Vince McMahon, man, from wrestling, he had the XFL football league. And that shit. How long was that around? Like five years, maybe it was like three or four. You say he had football, mm -hmm. wrestling, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
couple years. You know what I mean? It doesn't really... It was kind of exciting. They had some, some teams that obviously were better than others, and they just kind of dominated that shit. But it was cool to watch. I yeah. Know, I don't remember how many teams it was. Football is dangerous, though, now, right? Isn't no. it? I thought it was a dying sport. It's not dying? No, nah, like, they say the same thing about boxing. You know huh? what I mean? They say the same thing about a lot of things, but no, nah, it's not dying. I heard it's, it's like really as long as it, As long as niggas will pay you $100 million, it's not going down, man. Yeah, that's true. But damn. Niggas die for less. A lot less. Bro, I tell saying. people all the time, people can be that for less. Would you join Illuminati? I don't even know what that is. The f- so whatever they call the Illuminati, where I somebody got to die I don't know what that for a couple is. million dollars. I don't know what that is. That sounds like a rumor. I don't know what the Illuminati is. You never heard of it? I've heard a lot of different things about it, so right. I don't know what it is. Whatever like, you come up come up with it in your mind, would you join it? I don't, I don't come up with anything about it in my mind. I don't know what it is, so I don't think about it. You, you get know what I'm no, I'm just being real with you. I don't, you know, I, I don't, I don't implant so shit in myself say, that I don't believe in. So like, when niggas say, uh, this is what the Illuminati do, blah, 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 whatever they told you. I say, how do you know? If they, they don't have an answer. So I say, they okay, I can't believe it. No, because they don't know. Nobody knows. They're saying it's based on something they heard from someone else. I know. Like, it's a rumor. Like, if it's real, then if I ever see it, then I would make that decision. You, you would have to wait there? I, I don't know. know what it is. Is it real? Does it exist? I don't know. But, um, alright, now I want to talk about Joe Button Everyday Struggle, though. My nigga. I haven't watched Everyday Struggle since he's not been on there. I do watch Everyday Struggle, maybe not every day, but I catch up on it at the end of the week, though. It, it really comes on every day? Yeah. Um, he don't be on on what? Fridays? Um, uh, something like that. Yeah. But he not on there no more. I guess it's just academics and the girl. But I'm sure well, everyday struggle is pretty much like this, but every day it's like a podcast. They just touch on topics. What is it, like an hour-ish every day? It's and like then 40 to 50 minutes. Yeah. Wow. They just touch on different things. Every day? Yeah. Wow. You watch Deuces of Marrow? I love these in some room. They beefing with them now and shit. Oh, I seen that shit. What do you watch? Breakfast Club. It's like that. With the only the rumor report, or if they do, you watch the Power Hour, or you watch it in the morning. Just, the, just the interviews that I'd be like, just whoever I want to see that interview. Yeah, I don't That's really watch. Nice one. Really it's pretty much on you. It's I don't a know YouTube how to, show though. That's it's by complex. Me oh yeah, it's by complex. Oh, it's by Viceland. It gives me all that fucking technology gives me fucking anxiety. Sorry. Mm-hmm. You sound like an old lady. I'm just being honest. <laughs> but my nigga, uh, he ain't on there no more. I'm not going to watch it. You going to watch it? Oh no, no, I can't take academics. I used to like academics, and then I started watching him on the show. And I was like, oh, I'm good. I ain't never really like <laughs> academics. I just like the. Like he, I like that he be in the know. You fuck with Act Girl? You fuck with Jerry? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think he's uh, he kind of corny, but he don't really try to act like something he's not doing either. Can he carry the show? Nah. It's a wrap for that mm-hmm. shit for me. I'm not going to be watching it like that. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I don't, I don't know what they going to do. They can hire a hey, shout out every day struggle. I can hire me and we can just work. I, I won't even take nowhere as much as Joe Biden. You feel me? <laughs> I don't even want nowhere close to that. And I'll work on Saturdays if y'all need it. <laughs> yeah, you know I man. Hey, fly me up there. Oh, I need somebody to pay for my apartment though, because clearly New York is expensive. But that's pretty much all I need. <laughs> now you moving to New York? I mean, if every day struggle gonna hire me, yeah, 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 yeah my yeah, nigga, you gotta understand. <laughs> You gotta understand. Oh, be sure. selfish. You feel me? Um, I have a question from one of my friends because they knew he was gonna be on here. Who and, me? Yeah, and as an artist, do you or have you heard of girls just going ham and letting like 
females having groupies is the word I guess is it is it a word for male groupies or is it called male groupies not I mean I no one really girls don't we don't really we wouldn't really give it words like that we just like, Damn. I mean, not that I know it, not nobody else. Yeah, I remember when I was young, I read Remy Ma in the source, and she said she'd be letting niggas bless her. Oh, no, that definitely happens. I'm just saying, like, they don't, we wouldn't put it in a category like that. Like, oh, these are my male groupies or some shit like that. It's like, you know what I mean? Is it, a, is it a female artist that y'all would eat they box on tour? What? This is just a question. Mm-mm. No, Nikki. What? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think she's attractive. Why you gotta eat her out to be attractive? Exactly. Because they have groupies. Jimmy, do you guys? And so know I what have you to with? be one of them. Yeah, girls got girl groupies. Oh, so you mean like who do I like? Like yeah. Are, okay. Why couldn't you just say that? Same thing. I like um, I like Taylor Taylor. I think she's beautiful, but I I'm not thinking about eating her box. But I do think she's she's beautiful. Who you like? You got girl crush? Girl crush. God damn. Is that what it's right. called? I don't know the words. That word. sounds like. I don't know the words. Y'all so grow dramatic. Up. I'm not fucking with y'all. Get out of here. Think Get out of here. I'm not talking to y'all no grow more. Up. Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is is a joint you a group you out on, yo? Groupie out on? Yeah, yo. Just said, what the fuck does that even mean, bro? Exactly. <laughs> he thought it was just a female thing. Nah, yo. You know what it means, so What's yours? I know. I've been trying to think about it. I was thinking about it. <laughs> um, probably Rihanna. She's and I know it sounds right nasty. She looking, she looking pretty thick. She looking pretty good. I mean, she always look good, but mm-hmm. yeah, she's, yeah. she got that glow up uh, right now. Probably Rihanna. I'd be she backstage. Yeah, I mean, feeding the grapes and shit. Yeah. And that's what she need. Um, that's being groupied out. Yeah, nigga. I'd be grouped out for a lot of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing I'm anything. Up. I'm holding bags. Boy, Carrie Hilson yeah. can get some great yeah. shit. Yeah. She's tall as shit. About. What? I'm She's not feeding Carrie Hilson grapes. That's supposed to mean. Uh, no, no. He tall. There's joints in DC. Carrie Hilson is not 6'2. And that I'm not feeding grapes too. Six feet. She could be six feet. She could be a little inch taller than me with them nose on. Dang. I mean, mine. Mm. Yeah. I mean. Well, why do. Okay, so, like, we like. I like men. So can I just? I get it, man. Because you I'm always do. Man. I don't give a fuck. You can't have what a conversation <laughs> and just be like, "What? What girls would you eat out?" I'm not gay. Like I guess you know what? I'm like forty-seven percent of my listeners is women, so that's why I didn't need y'all on here. I guess all right. I need to cater to y'all a little. You know bit. what? I seen this Luke James video, my sister. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Ooh. I just want to say this. He was in an audition movie. Oh, he was looking good in that video. It was like it was like a modern day D'Angelo moment. Like you know how D'Angelo had that no. "How does it feel?" moment. But his I always was change a video. He had he had like it video was video that kind of moment, girl. His look at her face. Whew. He's cute. It Shout out to the woman that's listening and know who the fuck. So that's who you would. No, I was just making it. I just if that was the last like oh my gosh that I seen recently. So I was just like, oh, that was nice. I can't do it. You know, I'm just focused. Who would you feed grapes to? I don't feed grapes to no motherfucking guy. I think niggas like grapes fed to them, man. That's what's up. And I, I would for, king. for someone who earns them, but I'm not thinking How about you earn grapes? no fucking grapes. Please elaborate. How you earn grapes, ladies? Not just by looking good. I, all right, but okay, mm-hmm. good. We know that now. How do you earn okay, grapes? Okay, so I don't know them niggas to be thinking about feeding them no damn grapes. How do you earn? How do you get there? What do you got to do? Huh? Like, I don't need a step by step, but give me like, you got to at least, what, what make you be able to feed a nigga grapes? What would a nigga do for you for, what, what you need a ring? You don't need it's a ring? So what? Why would you just feed a nigga grapes then? 
Um, first of all, I don't, I don't fuck with niggas. A guy grapes a male, someone you mess with. Oh, if I mess with them? Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's different. I don't mess with nobody. You, you said who? Like, I'm just going to pick some random person. Like, not just... <sighs> Being so difficult, right? That's your face. Now I was trying to think of who I was thinking about for, I don't know. You got it. Like, who's sexy flexy in the game? Like, yeah. Good? A lot of people look good. I think but you don't got like a person spy. that you love in the no, game? I don't know them. I got like a Lauren London. You don't got like a Lauren London? Like who look me? good to me? Like oh I'm like so five. Bro I don't know those people. That's just not real. I told I don't fuck around with who is not real. That's not real. I'm not about to play myself fantasizing about some unreal shit. They, ain't, they don't know me. They ain't worried about me. I'm not worried about them. Sorry. But Davies look real good. I like his size. He he a nice big man. He look like a whole man. Like just like a man. That's that's I I could feed grapes to like a man that just look like a man. Like that's a man. He don't look like oh the man. Oh that's that man. That boy. Man. He look like you can't call him no boy. Like that's a man. That's sexy. I know exactly what you mean. Girl, I know you're telling him now. Y'all didn't say shit. <laughs> she said exactly what she was. I mean, I got the visual of what she said. She was very detailed, I feel like. Alright. Did you understand, Jimmy? I guess. <laughs> AKA. Because that's how it be for us, but you be like, she tall. I'm like, what? Right. I, no, first no, of all, no, I'm no. not what? against tall girls. I love tall girls. I feel like they have a beautiful build. Their body is well proportioned. Sometimes. I, like tall girls. That I mean, I same. like tall girls with nice bodies. That's what I'm saying. Those two things wasn't the same. Nope. That wasn't the same. Tall girls can be... Tall girls can be... My sister tall. I'm tall. He's seven, saying seven. Carrie no, Hilson is tall. bad as shit, but... She is bad. You saying that she tall. I'm just saying she like Jimmy Hurt. So, you know. That's too tall for her. No, yeah, in my eyes, because like I, she I, in my eyes, that height wise, I could never date no one. Right, the she, same well, height she as could, me. yeah, that's what she's saying. So, my perception of height uh, is always uh, that same level. Yeah, I couldn't, ne- I couldn't date nobody. Yeah, I couldn't date my, no yeah, guy but, my height. Yeah, it's for him, though. If he's okay with that, that's fine. Right, I'm just but she's saying, saying that's from for my her, perspective. Yeah. That's how I see well, height. Mean, we don't think the same. Yeah. That's crazy. This is too I have friends that feel like you're tall if you're taller than me. I feel like you're tall if you're at least 6'1". I feel or like six you're tall two. if you're at least 6'1". Six six. Exactly. You're not tall if you're how tall. How tall are you? I'm 7'7". Don't play me. How tall are you in real life, I'm though? I'm 7'7". Seven, seven, what's your driver's license? It says so. I'm 7'7". Seven, seven, don't play me. But what's it really say though? I just told you like three times. What's your birth height? I mean, not your birth height, <laughs> but your... Human height. <laughs> human height. I just told you. <laughs> Yo, you like five one. Don't don't play me. I'm seven seven. All right. Definitely not five one. Don't. I told you. Five four. What? Where'd you get six one from? Anything like five ten really look tall to y'all. I don't no, even think so. Not. I don't He's even know tall. if I know the difference First between all, a six one nigga. Can y'all tell a six one no, nigga no, no. between? Yes, because a, they stand different. Tall yes. guys stand different hey, than guys that where, ain't tall. I'm trying to they figure out why y'all came up with six one though. Because that's when they that's start the to minimum. stand like a tall person. <laughs> that's when you get to that. <laughs> So you start to me, getting... if you're not at least six one, you can't tell me shit. I wish you would tell me to shut up. I'm be looking at you like, who are you talking to? Like, you're not tall enough to tell me to shut up. Like, I'm just saying. Honestly, I'm I could not talk to nobody this much. I, it's called oh, a six two. Oh, it's so bad. And almost everybody I've ever dated I've has tried. been between six two and at least six six. I've tried. And that's just my entire life, but. Mainly six two six three. Can't be no five ten. Talking about some 
I'm the, that's not talk. I want to see. Not, it's a, I think I it's just I like a, it's a uh, instinctual thing, like an animal instinct thing. It's like a protective thing. Like you just, it's like you, like you would feel like that's a, like a, see, a, but that's man. a man. Like yeah, <laughs> that's what Yo, I'm saying. A man, right. like. <laughs> Y'all lying because I feel like y'all used to like short light skin niggas. Well, before no, we knew that, that we, before we face. knew what we really exactly like, you got this two different girl. We go through phases, stages. Like you, you gotta put niggas. And then in you categories. grow up and you realize things that you need, like in real life. <laughs> and you up. don't want your son to be short. Hello, because I'm seven. Oh, that's what y'all so. thinking about shit like that. <laughs> Realistically, you think that after a certain <laughs> yeah, point, yeah, yeah. Would you have a baby with somebody you fucking this ugly? That's something you think about. It's the same thing. First of all, but niggas, um, niggas still hit anything anyway. I was anyway, just about so. to say, guys don't. Care. <laughs> I was trying not to say it, but I was just saying. <laughs> And also, y'all do the same thing, and y'all lie and say y'all don't fuck with this type of nigga. But um, y'all. We could listen. We could settle for some shit when we bored and we want our ego stroke. But that is yeah. not. That is completely different than, we, than fun. what's gonna at the end of the day, like whatever. What whatever. You know what? <laughs> And after From a certain on, point, and after a certain point, you stop doing that too. Like at the twenty eighteen, I'm no longer choosing sides. What? I just like all women. That's what's up. I thought that's always for you. Yeah, yo, but you know, I had a preference. I'm not. I'm not gonna have a preference no more. Except mm-hmm. ugly women. Yeah, I still don't have a chance. Kinda, I still let y'all. Yeah, I mean, give me some. Yeah, yeah. But you know. So can we go back to the question that you asked about like females having like male groupies and stuff? Can we yeah. actually talk about that though? I thought you didn't <laughs> want to talk about it. How no, you carried I, it? No, I just said they don't call it that. What like, is they don't it? Don't call it anything. What is it? It's just a reality. <laughs> like. All right. So tell me about it. When we. You said you had a It's comment. just as bad. Well, it's probably worse. Like, because. So it would be niggas backstage being super duper thirsty. What? Yeah. What? Yes. Like. I can't imagine. What? It's, just for anything. I mean, they just offered, you know. Well, you know what? You're right, though. Because niggas do it to, like, IG joints. Because in they Regular mind. Regular duper joints. Because for some reason, and this is a question I'm asking two men. In their minds, like, even though they was on some groupie shit, they did whatever they did for her, gave her whatever favor she got, like, they still treat it like they, like, they conquered her. Why did they that? hit? I, I don't know. I'm saying, like, the conversation was just I mean, they just it, her head or what happened? I mean, well, as far as I know, that's how the approach always is in the situation. And to me, these are really empowered I like I know these women you know what I mean they be on their own type of time and most of them don't even most of these girls really don't even like penetration like they really lesbians but they like you know they'll accept favors and things from men because niggas will, oh you know eat you out give you money da, da, da. I mean niggas be tricking off like that's really a thing in Atlanta you know what I'm saying so I'm not saying that they probably never get something from them, but nine times out of ten, they ain't really getting shit. But they act like they still like, like oh. literally to be tricking off on these chicks that be Instagram famous and all of that. Like niggas really be like getting off on that. Like, what is that about men? Um, the best way I can explain it is the same way that a girl will fuck with a nigga that they think got money. Really. That's like the male version of that? That's right. That's, that's the male version shit. of that? Yeah, because I mean, that's what people been saying lately off the, off the like, Twitter shit, whatever these IG posts, and um, it was this little picture of Rick Ross in the club, and it was this girl passing. And it was two frames. The first frame, Rick Ross had his chain, like, basically on Shorty's arm, and she, like, was, like, not really paying this nigga no mind. You can tell he probably was trying to approach her. And then the next frame was her, like, walking away, and he was, like, looking at her ass and shit, or, like, looking down. So it was just, like, the, the caption was all dumb, but I was, like, I guess it correlated. It was, like, niggas try to get women's attention with their money and shit they can show off. 
and women try and they get mad when gold diggers come at them mm-hmm. and they be like but women flaunt their body and then get mad when niggas want them for their body and shit da 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 so oh, I was like eh. that's, that's the whole of you yeah, know, that, that, I yeah. have an opinion in that right of course but, <laughs> but I mean that's what it was saying and um I don't know man what do you what do y'all think of that Oh, I mean, I, I agree with what I said. It's just like, shit. Just like the shit with money for real. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. It's the equivalent. I don't understand why a girl will fuck a nigga because she think he got bread yeah, because yeah. he got bread. But that's the same thing. I don't understand it either, though. So I can't really speak on it because I don't know why. So I think they just they pretty like much conquer because they feel like they you, just had a sexual desire for her. Like, he don't even know her. Right, exactly. You don't. You know whatever image of her she put out. Right, that's what you know. So, uh... Some niggas get... Yeah, I mean, like, some girls get off from giving her. Some niggas might... Some niggas just be wanting to eat girls out. I'll be well, fine. Okay, I mean, apparently that's, like, really... A yeah, thing. yo, niggas really just like eating girls out, so... When did I that mean, happen? Because I remember when we was younger, that was just, like... <clears throat> That was like not a thing. Like guys was just like not. Really it happened. It happened for me when I moved here. I realized that niggas. That this was like oh four. Niggas was like, I was seeing this girl in MySpace and niggas was just really trying to eat her box. I'm like, like unlimited messages. Niggas just trying to eat her box. I'm like, yeah, they not trying to fuck you or nothing. I'm like, what's your point in my box? Wow. I mean, you know what's so funny about that? And I'm just being honest. Most of y'all don't even know what the fuck y'all doing. So why y'all wouldn't do it so much? I don't. Um, off IG today and on Snap, I put, because that's funny you said that, I put back in the day girls used to not give a nigga head and just let them. I mean, wait, only give a nigga head. Mm-hmm. And not let him hit unless she was her man. Mm-hmm. Now it's the opposite. You're like you gotta be my man. You damn near got married that joint to get the mm-hmm. nigga all the time. But you know why? Why? I don't because know. y'all y'all switched that. Like y'all started taking the head thing so personal. Like who who who's been in your mouth? Like literally. What? Like y'all. Li- no. Oh yeah. Because like, I don't want to kiss you. I don't want to kiss you. And the way that y'all treat the way y'all violate. Well, I'm. Just, just from a female perspective, just the way that men violate women mm-hmm. sexually, that head is like it's it's like a demean it's almost yeah. a demeaning act for women now specifically. Damn, that, for real. All you hear that bitch suck my dick in music. Yeah, what what do you what do you think? How do you think we feel? Like we dance to the music in the club, but we talk about the shit like I can't fuck with it because it's really disrespectful to like you don't think that like you But we know niggas be offering to eat our pussy. We don't care. So why did you just say that like that was the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just to say that? Okay. Nah, because it's true. Okay. I don't be... I don't be... Men are not the same as women. I don't y'all, be y'all, like, could, y'all could care less if we was making songs talking about how I really y'all like be kissing. eating our pussy and all of that stuff. But y'all make a bunch of songs talking about fuck that bitch, get money, she suck my yeah, dick. Yeah, y'all care. Your we girl don't care about that. Dick, dick. No, it's really disrespectful. So naturally, in the culture of that, women are going to be less inclined to want to just give men head. Oh my period. God, future? Future shit. Y'all in love this music. <laughs> y'all make this music. I feel like it's a surprise. Gucci. Gucci got married. God damn. Yeah, man. Exactly. And all these you niggas making why? this music all got she women. Was exactly. Them that throat. No, because he knew to fucking respect her more than he was talking Hold about up, the chicks in the music. And not let his wife suck his dick, though. I did not hear that bullshit. Is that true? I, I have to have seen it. Seen you believe that bullshit? I could believe listen it. Listen to me. I'm a, I'm a, man, listen. What y'all talking about? Niggas. I know one nigga in my whole entire time on this earth that did not really want his dick sucked. That doesn't mean anything. Some guys take their like their queen, their woman. They don't. Yeah, they that's what real, I mean. Like, like he didn't want his girl to do that shit. No, I mean one nigga. Oh, oh only one. I'm pretty sure. I know a couple of guys like that. that. Them, them that. niggas is weird. But it's but they'll get it though. They'll, they'll get it from like Pain. from strippers, hoes, like all. But not the girl that they you know that they. You gotta kiss her. That's why. That's the difference. See, my reason that I was trying to tell you is the reason that niggas act like that is because I gotta kiss you. I don't want another nigga come in my motherfucking mouth. I don't even want mine in my mouth. Okay, cool. So then don't 
question why women don't be wanting to give head. You, you just found all no, we just, just talked about. No, just give me head. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Wow. Huh? Yeah, don't just be out here sucking everybody's dick. Just pick one and make her feel comfortable enough to, you know, be that person with you. I'm just trying to figure out when that changed. I just told you when the music changed. But the they always not, been saying no, that they not, sucked dick. Not like you know, oh, nah. music changed like. Uh, and then when okay. it got in, then when, <laughs> then when it then when it got into R and B, that's when it really messed up because R and B was full of women. When Chris Brown started disrespecting us and all of them started, they started disrespecting us singing. Can I can I get some breezy bars and suck my dick, please? I need you want, fact you want, be yeah, real, I need, you want to be real specific like Chris Brown ain't made like songs disrespecting I mean, my dog, women. Breezy beat girls up. I mean, we know he disrespect okay, cool. women. So, <laughs> that, that's the point of statement. Breezy that's my dog, though. Why. Shout out Breezy. That's the reason why. Because nowadays, you could get away Fuck. with making the mistake of having sex with the wrong man. You just drop him and move on. Forget he exists. Oh, yeah. But you can't, can't, you can't cancel put that you, body no, with you, your mouth. You can't. Okay. That's a whole other level of That's a trick. Yeah, that Jimmy, you can't cancel the body with your mouth. That's how girls is funny as shit. I had to decode that shit, yo. I'm just saying that's She cool. almost ain't saying I had to decode. Fellas, yo, that's what it mean. If a girl act like you ain't catch the body, it's because she ain't suck your dick. Well, that's true for some. I'm sure. I'm sure on some levels that's probably. That's crazy. Really true. That is crazy. So you get. You could drop, you could deny your body because you ain't get that nigga head. That's. Uh, I'm sure for somebody. That's petty. I'm sure <laughs> for someone, someone petty. Super, super duper petty. I'm just explaining to you why women don't give head. I'm not. Exactly yeah, that's why. Um, that's why because. Well, how about y'all make some different music, and then saying that, pretty much what you don't understand is, you're taking it as disrespect. It is. No, I'm trying. Let me tell you now. We're taking it as how much we Literally, like Literally, uh, what's his name? What's his we're name? We're taking it um, as we like it. What's his you name? Made a wrong. whole album called Sandaz. What's it called? Suck a nigga dick or something? Have you ever heard that? His whole pro, his whole project mm-hmm. is called Suck a nigga dick. And every song he says Suck a nigga dick or something. Sandy. And, and yes, <laughs> first of all, the fucking project is hard so as clever. Fuck, but he literally, the whole project is like getting head. That shit is wrong with and that. And he said the first line he said, "I hate these bitches like Monday." But then he talked about getting head from them. It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. How can he? How can he say it nicely? Why would you say he has nothing? Oh, so you don't want him to say, say it. Okay, you don't want him to say it. <laughs> why but is he, to me, why he, he hate, just, Why you hate the bitch and she's sucking your dick? You hate her so no, much, we'll get your dick sucked like by that. a nigga. No, you just like, well, no. You hate bitches so much, why are you getting, why Why are you with one? Like, this one, just, it just don't make sense to me. I, I didn't hear it. If y'all don't. I got to hear the whole women, album to be able to defend alone. this nigga. Can you defend him, yo? Just a young boy for he do a lot of outlandish shit. Yeah, of course that's he where they are, but it's not uh, acceptable. Six, six shit and all that, uh-huh. so I can't take up for him. But uh, he be he be wild. You would really try and get him to take up for someone that even like, like how how do you justify that at, at any day? Because I don't know how he said it. I don't know. How do you I mean, say suck a nigga dick or something nicely like? Some, to be honest, some girls like that. I know for a fact. Some that, girls like that. You see how you always answer the question with like a response that did not answer the question? Because he might be talking to the women that like that. Some Everybody don't find it disrespectful. You sure? Yeah. For sure. So, are they healthy? These people that don't find it disrespectful? Like, do they love themselves? Do you know? I don't... I'm not like a doctor enough. That's, the, I last just, thing, that's the last thing niggas... But I'm, like, can't just think about. I didn't... Of course not, but... I, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm the person that's giving my opinion, so that's what I'm saying. I know, I'm just saying, like, that's his lifestyle. He ain't worried about Of course not. That's why the music that. gets made. But I'm telling you why women... This is the stuff we talk about... This is why the culture of getting head from a woman in a certain level is changed. I'm just being honest about that. Oh, because it's Because like we're thinking about this. Yeah, it affects us. Like, 
Y'all but could you could you could say it don't just because y'all like the music. Yeah. It's not even just the music. Y'all act differently because this music has been made. The way y'all treat women about getting hit, y'all ain't the same as y'all. Like men are. It's not just us. Like we are just we just changed. Like no, like niggas be coming at chicks way different now than they used to before. Like the whole game of dating, all of that shit is different for everybody. Can you elaborate more? The real question is, do you respect a woman less after she give you head? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's a real I like her more when she give me head. Any woman. Any well, woman that gives give you head, head you're going to call give her Give me good head. I um, uh, probably can stay the night, <laughs> to be honest with you. If she don't give me no head, you can probably go home, though. I'm definitely going home. Bye. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, that's going to be the name of my uh, podcast. Send us. <laughs> like, I swear, nah, on the cover, it's like a girl on her knees. Like, Yo, real shit. Women like that shit, man. I'm sorry. And I'm saying, do those women love like them? Do they, but how do they feel about <coughs> themselves when they like that? Because I'm sure there was a time when I liked that it, they but like, I probably didn't like myself like very much at that time. That's I not... Okay. Anyway. I mean, I can understand where you're coming from because the type of shit, like, be on, like, you know, some different type of shit. But the average person is not thinking about that like that. But and that's why a lot of the average people are really unhappy and really like But peep though, like a lot of people listen to music and everything that's in the music, they don't live that way nor do they condone that shit. No, I understand, but you know, a lot of um it's like you can't avoid how things are implanted in you. Like you can't like that shit still to a certain extent affects how you move like you could mm-hmm. listen to something and say oh I only take this line from it I only take that line from it but don't think that it doesn't affect how you move like right. it does like we talk to each other differently as men and women now like a lot of the way that we speak to each other just our courtship is completely different than it was back in the day and in any other time like music is not the same it definitely if like the fact that we even have this conversation shows that it's changed. Social you know media got the, probably the biggest role in all of it. All of it does. All of it does. But that doesn't mean that it's right just because it's normal. Like that's that's to me the biggest problem that everybody will well that's just the code that's just what they say and that's just their lifestyle. That's just this. Yeah, but that doesn't make it okay. That's why women are having this feeling or that's why we're having because it's not okay ultimately. Like it's just because everyone doesn't get on the accord on the mat, like it always takes for something big to happen, like a bunch of rape shit to come out or something like that for it to now become a conversation where we say, Oh, maybe it's not okay. But when it's just a couple of people that are like, huh, maybe it's like, well, that's just normal. That's just where things are. No, like this is these are cries for help. Like these, these are issues like that no one wants to address because the music is lit. Of course, the music is lit. Do you see where production is right now? Like, of course, people are going to like, of course, we want to hear our own pain. That doesn't mean it doesn't need to change or be dealt with. And that's just the truth. But I feel like it is at the same time. There's balance in it all. Because just as much as all that stuff is coming out, there's a lot of beautiful black love out there. That message is being pushed heavily. These same people that was talking all of this stuff are also getting married on national TV. So, like, there's balance in it all. Because she was okay with it. Whatever you say. Ultimately, right? A little bit. What? Because... Who was okay with what? The woman he married. Was okay with what? What he like. I'm just saying that that's what, what these niggas liked. like, man. What you mean? That's why they rap like? about it. But let me tell you, he, you don't know how he treated her. Her relationship with him ain't got nothing to do, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's choices that she made based on him and her. Like, I can't say why she I'm picked. just defending my man. Okay I'm just trying to defend my man. Giving him head. Like, who knows how long before he got hit? Like, that's a whole relationship. Probably same nothing day, man. About. Shout out my dog, Goo well, Yeah, man. I don't know. That's, you know. Either way, it worked out for the both of them, so. Shout out my nigga, Goo Wap. Can, uh, niggas get out the friend zone, y'all? Y'all have a look. Oh. 
Oh shit. I accidentally pressed the emergency call button. That was kinda cool. Damn. I never heard that song. Yeah, me neither. Um, you look like you did some shit though. Nah, it's just something about the call. Nine one one three two one. Just to let y'all know now, y'all, if somebody chase y'all, just hit that uh, power button mm-hmm. twice. What? <laughs> um, mm-hmm. yeah. Don't mm-hmm. do it, though, yo. <laughs> yo! You got me looking at my phone and shit. Oh, shit. I think, I'm almost sure that's what I did. Even that way, I, I think. I don't Hell know. no, there's no way. I ain't doing it again. Fuck that. Don't experiment. Fuck it. Do it. Y'all can do it and let me know if it worked out, but I know I did something close to that. Let me know exactly how to do it, so I don't do it again. Um, but yeah, can the nigga get out the friend zone? I think so. I think so. Yeah, I guess it depends. On, Wait, what? It depends what? on why he. It depends on why he got put in the friend zone, probably, and and what he did to get out of it. If he got put in the friend zone because it just, cause she just was done with it it's probably not you're probably not gonna bounce back from that but if like you like start how you know the friends? level of friend zone is like you talking about real friends or like fake friends like fake friends cause you know people be pretending to be friends with folks but y'all really just attracted to each other and y'all not ready to fuck around yet like um nah my man just said how you get out of friend zone and I just figure he liked the girl, she know he like her. Mm-hmm. But she ain't fucking with it. Oh, that's probably then yeah, no. She ain't fucking with it. <laughs> Steve Urkel got uh Laura out of it eventually, but by then it was when he was fucking with Myrtle, right? Mur- I mean Sometimes Myra. sometimes it happens. I've I've known that of, of a couple cases where I'm like, wow, yeah. like that really happened. Sometimes it does happen, but it's just very rare. It's very rare. He, worked, and he had to work real t- hard. Steve Irwin oh, had to go yeah. in the damn time machine. Bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. It, it's, it take, it, I ain't Hear never my, known it taking less than a year. Hear that, my guys. If you're in the friend zone, yo, just say fuck that bit. B word. <laughs> nah, and get out of there. Nah, yo. Don't do it. Yeah, if you really do want it. that. Do not do it. Yeah, just 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 move to, on, yo. But listen, listen, more than likely, listen to that one. Like, yeah, that just move on. If she's not rocking within two weeks, move on. Two bro. weeks? <laughs> I was about to say two years, two months. Two years? What the f- Y'all friends. Hey, yo. Right, y'all friends. Right. So y'all supposed to stop being friends? Yeah, yo. So you wasn't you. never really my friend then. Right. You was just waiting to I, get I'm some. not right to be sitting here and be hearing about all these niggas breaking up. Okay, cool. So don't heart. call it friends. That's what I mean. Like, we talking about real yeah, friends or fake friends. Friend. That's not friends. Nah, I don't want to um, ruin like one of my real friends' friendships, so I wouldn't date one of my real friends. I gotta like you first for you to come up. Nine times out of ten, if you get out the friend zone, it ha- they had to have liked you already. Like I, I can't, I don't really. I feel like if a person's a friend zone, y'all friends, like you just your friends, like especially if you got put in the friend zone. No, I'm definitely man. not taking a nigga out the friend zone. I don't feel like y'all was friends yet. He tried bag her and then he fake friended her so he can get her. But I don't know I don't know that amount of time. I said two weeks though because time is short and niggas die every day. So, yeah, you know I mean, give yourself time to move on to another. Cause plenty of fish in the sea. Donald Trump voice. There's plenty of fish in the sea, yo. That's true, but I mean, it takes time to. How long do y'all expect a nigga to wait for y'all to try and figure a out? A nigga if you to like wait y'all? for y'all to try and figure out if you gonna give me this pussy? Cause what are you talking about? She could like you, she could like him, but what she just not doing? She not fucking him. She ain't sucking his dick. She not acting like his girl. She not cooking for him. She just being a woman, being in his presence, being a friend. That's not enough. Like, so, how long before what? What's she supposed to do? I didn't think about and what is he doing to make her want to do something? That if he ain't doing nothing yet, then why she? What is she? What is, what is she waiting for? You fact? know what? That's a good point because I have a question. Hmm? What is this word effort that allegedly word niggas don't be putting for? <laughs> Effort then shit because I can have I got 
good relationships with all my women friends. And <laughs> like, bro, I don't even I don't even understand why you said that for real. Because what do you mean? All right, take example, Kesey. Me and her, whenever we link up, we can go out and have a good time and shit. But like, if 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 it's just a matter of just being a good friend and enjoying each other's presence and you know what I'm saying I got you you got me and shit like what's effort other than consistency the only difference between me and somebody that I will be like dating is the fact that maybe we do cook for each other here and there exactly. or some shit like that exactly but like, that's what I'm saying that's why I but said but I would when, do that for my friend if, but so that's what you're proving my point what, what you, you said what, because this you is what this is what hustle asked me this, this is she hustle asked me how long are we supposed between. to wait before y'all know and i'm saying what is she doing that says she doesn't know is she not sucking his dick like if they're already doing everything is like it, you just said not like exactly yet. like what's missing what does he feel like is missing to where he's friend zoned like it like you and your friend like you said if y'all have all of that if y'all cool what's the problem Y'all ain't fucking like I don't get it. Like I'm saying, like what is she supposed to be doing that's more for him? Is it that she's not fucking him? Like that's why he feels well, like how long am I supposed to wait? Well, usually she's not fucking you because you're not putting forth enough effort. No, but that's what I'm saying. She's either attracted to him or she's not. That's what I'm saying. If they're already do y'all really friends, have a stupid ass time limit? Is this real? First of all, it better not be. Real. It's not I'm about. Sure. It's no, not no, about. No. All right, so that. I see. I see what the miscommunication was, and I, I see exactly. I see why I did prove what you were saying. But what Hus said was, what is effort? He don't talk about what a friendship. He talking about like when you're dealing with somebody on mm-hmm. a little more serious level. Right. What the hell is effort? Because if all I got to do for you to well, consider that's effort is being y'all's... a good friend. Well, well, you know, that's the, the that's between that's between like, y'all two based on what y'all need. Yeah, that's. But really we never sense. know. We that's that, what I'm trying. How do you to not? And the only way you don't know is if you don't communicate with them. Exactly. You learn like individual. you learn that as you go. Yeah. On like, person. Yeah. That's between you two. People's personalities are different. As you Upbringing, date them, you see what exactly what you like. Yeah. Yeah. You have to learn an individual. This is the thing. This is the thing. And the if you didn't go into the situation, what did you go into? Y'all reading these right. So what the fuck? When you met her. Yeah, when you met her what was your intention that's the real question if your intention was to get to know her just purely like that then the rest of that shit just happens along the way mm-hmm. it's no like well when is this going to that's what I'm saying you got a time intentions. limit literally you said how long y'all expect a nigga to wait wait two for weeks. what two weeks for what pussy the hey two, what are the, you talking about the two weeks was a, a, a thing but um, but yeah nah for the box exactly you that's what I mean with like, nobody in two weeks that's not anyway. what like that's what I mean. So if you expect to get the box really from a chick in two weeks, weeks you need to be doing some extraordinary. Yeah, no. You need to have done something extraordinary to make her fall in love with you. If she, if, if you're expecting you something that big in, in two weeks, bro. In two weeks, you that's what I'm saying. Love fall in love in two weeks, bro. I'm saying because, God, because God, that's God, not God. natural. If that's God, not God. natural for that woman, like mm-hmm. if a woman, if it was natural for a woman to just fuck any man because they had an attraction she'd be a hoe right so if you come along and you want it to also be genuine you want it to also be friendly but then you also want her to figure out if she should give you the box in two weeks you need to have done something more than the next man because trust me there's like 15 of you you get what i'm saying and she can't pick all of y'all it's that's the same saying, for us like, too by the way so that's but, great but that, that's i mean that's good for you i'm glad you could say that because i said that shit i tweeted that the other day like it's clear that people got things mistaken as far as having a genuine interest in somebody and trying to do something with somebody mm-hmm. and just either being attracted to exactly. or just you know you like their positive attention that they give you you don't really want to pursue shit with them but you just you know you like you if y'all do come together you like that shit mm-hmm. but if you don't you're good with that too for real mm-hmm. that says a lot you feel I me? feel like those are just genuine yeah, situations that, that right. come though, naturally like. mm-hmm. that it's nothing that has a floor uh, blueprint right. and that's no how it should be no how do I do this? There's no rules to it. Yeah. You just let That's it why I was saying, like, what is, she, what is she not doing to where, like, you know, there's a time limit where he even feels friend zone? Like, nah, because... Because it, where is she right, at wait, in her oh, life? Wait. She might not even be in a space in her life where she wants to give herself intimately. Like, y'all, we be on a whole different type time mm-hmm. than y'all. And it ain't even got nothing to do with y'all. That's so gay. It's but that's what I'm saying. It's niggas out here that's more than happy. Cause like you said, there's plenty of stuff. it's plenty of fish in the sea, right? So if you come across a woman, like for example, me right now, right? I'm in a space where I'm not dating at all because I want to be taken seriously. So if it's not if it's if it's not something that I feel like I actually want, I'm not gonna waste my time. Like I'm not. I'm just gonna focus on what I need to focus on. 
you know what I'm saying? But if if so, if I come across someone and they don't fit that, I'm not gonna make them feel no tight way because they don't want nothing serious. I would just tell them to go find someone that also doesn't want something. Because there's plenty of people that in like it's a timing thing. You can even be attracted to someone and it be like y'all not on that same type of time. You're in a space where you want one thing, and this person is in a space where they don't want that thing. You know what I'm saying? Like that's perfectly fine. It's when people try to deceive each other. Like you know, this is the type of girl that wants a boyfriend. But you know you don't want to be her boyfriend. You just want to fuck. But you're going to fuck around with her anyway, knowing that she's the type of woman that wants this thing. Like, guys do stuff like mm-hmm. that. Not necessarily. I don't feel like y'all you look... I know it sound like that, but if we... I, I in my you know, opinion, you know, I, I have hold, honest hold conversations with other male friends. I know right? that, but hold on. Sometimes it's not really that petty, though. Sometimes you know that she might be that type of girl and you know you might got to fuck with her. What? And you might fuck with her. But then it just don't work out, so then it look like no, you're like I, for no reason. But I've literally known guys that like they know damn well because they already sm- fucking around with like four other chicks, so they definitely not committed to this one. They just like yeah, you just cut them off right away. It, you saying this like this? There's still a woman in there that she's still in this space, and she put herself out like. That's what I mean by people don't even Women do cares. stuff like that like, for different reasons. You don't know why she out there yeah, like Exactly. That. Like, that's what I said. We'd be on some, people in general always be on different types of time. When people communicate, like, it's like if you're not open and honest, that's another thing. Like, men don't really let women be honest about how we feel. That's another big problem. <clears throat> Like, y'all don't want to hear what the fuck we got to say. As soon as we start talking, y'all get so irritated. Y'all don't want the truth from us. Y'all don't want the real right now. It's because y'all say it too much. Because y'all don't listen. But that is true. <laughs> we do overdo it. They don't because, listen. I mean, they ain't really I'm not about listen, to listen if you, every time you talk, you complaining. Don't I don't want to fucking hear it. Every I time don't. I talk to you complaining, I don't want to hear that. Tell me something else. Tell me some good shit. I will say that women, we do have to humble ourselves and try to. I don't care about that bitch at work. I don't care about nothing that happened at work. Because I feel like we emphasize our point so much that it just it falls on deaf ears. Because they don't think like us. They're they're more simplified thinkers. Man, write that shit in a diary, man. Tweet that shit. You said write that shit in a diary. Tweet it. I would rather just. I don't feel like like hearing it. I don't feel like hearing you complain. Every day, you can I'd complain to just, me like on Sundays. If I gotta complain okay. about a person, yeah, I'd rather just not yeah. do it. Just Tweet it. No. Send it to me in a text. I may or may not read it. I'm yeah, okay. man. I'm good on that. You know what? Yeah, if you gotta complain, send it to me in a text. From if I gotta now. complain about it, I'm sorry, I'm good on it. Like I. Nah, but then I'm you gonna hold it in. Happy by myself, really peaceful and everything. You're not gonna be happy. Sometimes you gotta get it out clearly. That's why you're trying to tell me, right? So just send it to me on Sundays. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. I'm saying, if you got to complain, just don't tell me every single what day. What if I got a week's worth of shit to say? Get that shit up on Sunday, my nigga. While I'm uh, watching the game, though, at halftime. Didn't you tell me something like that in high school? Like, you told your girlfriend she could only be shit you, like, on Wednesdays or some dumb shit like that? Yo, I don't be really wanting to hear nobody complain to me, bro. It stresses me out because I feel like I got... You know, are you telling you know me this to you help you? Like, that? why are you don't telling do things, me this? Don't do things that make chicks complain. You know, you know the things that you, you know these chicks triggers. You are not dumb. Like y'all are know, we, nine times out of ten, that's going. Oh, that's going to get on me. Let me not do that. I, it's choice. Everybody can make choices. We all fucking adults. <laughs> like sometimes, but sometimes you'd be like, why are you even complaining about that? I can't help who like my picture. Yeah, I don't get into that stuff. That's that's dumb stuff. You know, sometimes you just want to start an argument, and you know, anything can start one. So I'm saying. Well, see, but if you on that right, if you if you but I never want to hear it ever in your life, and y'all on the right type of time, then if you see the energy shifting into that where they're being antagonistic, then you like you you know what that is for what it is, and you yeah, know, but I never want to argue like, anyway. Keep it for Sundays. Like people wasting their time. Like if it ain't for you, stop. Wasting oh, their time. Why, why you guys? Why don't y'all tell y'all make other female friends these problems? You know. You don't want your friends to judge your nigga. Yeah, yeah. because they feel like it ain't mainly. Worst, it ain't, okay. Then we will. Y'all we complaining will about? They don't complain about me to me. What'd you say? The complaints that I be complain that I'm complaining about ain't about me. There's just other shit going on in your life. 
don't know. You don't pillow talk with all your friends. You pillow talk with your man. I don't even want to pillow talk. It don't well, sound like you want something more intimate in the first place, though. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, and that's what I mean so, by like, if so you, you have what to, you want, you have to you pillow talk to be intimate. You have to communicate time, with somebody, make time. yourself vulnerable. You have so you have to. Complain to be complain. to love someone. Yeah, so no I, matter what it is, you gonna look at it as complaining. Me. Why you have female friends for the shit that you go through? You need the shit that I can help. Listen, so if I can't stubborn. help it, no, if I can't help it, I don't want to hear about it. That's men how I feel don't have about a high a level man. of why? emotional intelligence. Yo, if I can't they help refuse. it, why are you telling me this? That's one such thing. a stubborn. You have man. to be somewhat emotional. Or at least cater to a woman's emotional needs as a I man. I keep telling you, you, you haven't met that, that woman. You haven't else. met. You, have you, you obviously woman. haven't met that woman yet. That's made you want to be vulnerable. Like yeah. that. that's what said. I think. Yeah, that's what I think. You haven't met the woman that's made you we want to open yet. up. That that's made you feel safe enough, and that's made you want to share yourself in that way. And that's that's all it is. Share my world. But for women, we need, we know that that's a necessity for us. That's Absolutely. why we handle things differently. It doesn't become a necessity for y'all. Y'all stumble upon that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and you can't, and it's, it's something that can't be forced on y'all. We try naturally to force it on y'all because it's something that we need at Julian all times. On my side right now, it's something yo. we constantly <laughs> aware of. But after a certain point, we have to accept it when we realize, okay, he's not going to let us in. But ultimately, y'all always make the decision at the end of the day because y'all have to open up. Nah, that's a fact, though. That nigga is not, most of the time, he know if he want to or it's not going to be like that. Mm -hmm. You just know. My thing is, once you know, nigga, tell me. Let me know. Don't You ain't got to lead me on. My pussy it's ain't not worth it. You it's on. not worth it. Keep he going. He might be trying to Keep yeah, it going. I, if you don't know yet, if you unsure, don't talk to me until you are. I'm perfectly fine with that. We can be friends. You ain't got the sample these goods, honey. We good. I'm dead ass. Because so you ain't about how, to waste my motherfucking time. So wait, time. wait, 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 wait. If you don't now know what you, you want. Now you're restricting the... You, nah, this is, this is clearly something that you just... I'm like, so serious. Have your own experiences with them. I and do, they, I and have. they ain't positive. So but what I'm saying is, <laughs> nah, word, real shit. Yes, because niggas always trying to do this. Like they always trying to put us in this box. Like I want to keep you, but I'm not ready to step up and be a man yet. So I'm gonna do Don't all of this stuff that. to keep you. And I, all right. All right, but keep going. Nah, nah. But like, but so how long is a woman supposed to like? How sit long there is the man? How long is a man supposed? What is our deadline? What is the cutoff in which he needs to know how much he's how vulnerable he's willing to be with? Right. Him? Does he need to know within three months that he will tell you his no. like deepest no. fears no, or, no. or biggest goals no. or his no. highest and his lowest? No, he just, he just, it, it, like I said, it's I've met people be that within days I felt like I can talk about shit like that. With. Yeah. I've met people who, like I never felt like I could talk but about I don't shit think, like that. But I don't think that when she said opening up or being vulnerable that she means necessarily like telling them things about yourself. It's like there's a connection between a man and a woman when they have made that connection mm -hmm. and that man will let you know if he has made that connection with you Absolutely. like he'll respond to you in a timely fashion he will let you know that he's thinking about you he will be consistent like those are the things that women need but like, all of those are mad basic and anything but those are simple those are that's what right. we want simple. It's that's that simple. ultimately what we want it's and we want else. to know that it's about more than just this that's what like those that's what's most that's what's mainly important that's what establishes the connection that's what makes a woman feel safe. That's what makes a woman feel invited. It's just that that feeling where you want her to know that, like, I'm aware of you in my life. You have to under men have to take into consideration. It's a necessity to understand a woman's uh, has emotions. Yeah, and her emotions are probably the priority. Those are the most important things to her. Yeah, like that's how you get a woman. That's how you get a woman to suck your dick anytime. Yeah. <laughs> no, bro. No, 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 sometimes I be thinking this shit y'all say. I just be like, bro, are y'all serious? Do you? Are, as much as y'all talk about it, that's all y'all wanted to talk about in this whole convo. Do you? You really think we don't know that? What? Y'all yeah, like are y'all serious? Men refuse to acknowledge it. Even if you know it, like, y'all use it to complain about us. Y'all use it. Y'all use it. Never had a woman that didn't deal with 
mad emotions. Like, but the thing serious? is, but the thing is, you see, you see how, but it's even how y'all say. I've it. never took an even I've how y'all say it is disrespectful. Like you saying, y'all say like, like not deal to be with emotions. Right, right. Deal with emotions. Right. You saying it like you're not taking it Like it's some negative thing about us that y'all gotta deal with. That's how you know it's not the right way. Why you up in arms? Because I'm telling you, why you up in arms and flaring your nose? I'm also saying that I've never taken a woman seriously that didn't have solid emotions that didn't that wasn't in tune with herself and couldn't communicate. Right, I've never right, taken right. that type of woman right, seriously. Right, right. Gotcha. So while you throwing jabs, understand that it's nah, it's not like that. It's just that if a woman is like that, that's a red flag and a nigga is going anyways. Because right. you're gonna act crazy probably or like just just you don't the fuck is you communicate doing, right. anything or like so this is a stalemate. Even if you do have mad emotions built up, I don't know what the fuck going on in your head. Right. I might know some but fuck see, that's shit what I, I did. But men have, have to, to be, look, but what that's what I'm but. saying. Men have to give women a safe space to express their feelings. Like you said, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Because but women we don't feel that, safe. We ain't got that. Women don't feel safe talking to y'all. We really don't. Y'all make it so obvious that y'all don't like the sound of our voice. Y'all Sometimes. call us naggers. Y'all, y'all put that if shit in imagine. music. The whole culture, specifically coming at black women, bro. Y'all, y'all put, y'all drag <sighs> you us. You listen to the black butt. people that date black women, so. What did you say? You're listening to black people I mean, that fr- You get women. frustrated. You t- you pretty much like being a dead horse. Think about like, how black men feel about yourself. how y'all get dragged they have through black the mud men by that America. Love they black women right? though. What'd you Those say? are the men that understand. What about them? How we it's feel? Black, black women that aren't in tune with themselves though. Y'all are missing the point. Y'all yeah, of course. It. Well, well, there are women, they want there are women why, is that, why are you it, saying that? It means that for every situation that got you getting like rowdy in this convo, uh-huh. there's probably two for like because art because be for real, God, men, men, men deal with way more women. That's what, but that's what so we've had was always telling me. That everybody's not thinking like me. We've had two or three times more bad experiences with people that aren't in tune themselves than you had men because you take it easy, right? You probably don't. Right. All right, look. You, you take people seriously when you deal with them. Right. So when you find out, oh, this nigga is mad unstable and you got to move on, like, look, we done dealt with two of those in the same amount of time. So that's But that's y'all, that's y'all that, choice, though. That's because a fact. But that's that's your choice true, because though. a lot of times the signs be age. right there, right in your face. But because you wanted that pussy, you wanted to experience whatever you wanted to experience with that chick, y'all deal with it anyway. Every man, every man hey. will tell you that, though. Okay, so what you're doing is further damaging these already damaged chicks. That's why I said the girls who y'all talking about, they like that stuff. I said, do they love themselves? Because that's those chicks that y'all ain't helping. You talking about she teach her something. You feel me? Because y'all got a role to play too. Like, what are you talking about? Women, y'all want women to do that for y'all, but y'all can't turn around and be a king for a woman. Like, we don't have. I do nice things. You do not. That's what's up. Well, what you teaching? What you teaching your women? Depends on what they need. You didn't. What you? What's what's one thing you taught them? I'm not sure. What's one thing you taught them that you care about? You have to ask them to better her if you felt like she needed to better herself before you dropped her. I would hope you. uh, You would have to ask her. I don't know. Whatever I taught them, it wasn't like uh, I need to teach her this. Hmm. Whatever I taught anybody. Shit, my last words, my last words was definitely like, yo, I hope out of all this shit, at least you learn that this doesn't work for nothing. Like you need to learn how to do this because you can never move forward with anybody. Like communication and shit. That's well, maybe your simple shit though. Well, That's for every for shit. every one of you, trust me, there's a whole bunch of just suck a nigga dick or something niggas that don't care. Like you gotta understand. I love that. I love that mixtape though. Fuck it. I mean, I be real too. I like that shit. No, I mean I like, I like it too, but I'm just saying. I like that nigga music. I'm just saying for for every you know how you you're having your whatever. There's guys that don't think like how y'all thinking right now. You know that y- y'all got plenty of friends that don't give a fuck about these chicks. And you know I it. can't agree, man. Whatever, hustle. Because niggas be faking love. Half the time, you don't even love. give a fuck about these shit, bro. Listen, they don't give a fuck about... It's not that they don't give a fuck about the chicks. They, they only give a fuck about what? Like one out of five, one yeah, out of six. It's so full. What about the other five, though? You get what I'm saying? Somebody give a fuck like, about them, but they that's not paying attention to that nigga. Oh, that's they prime, man. You see, so, so you're going to sit here and try and justify fuckery still, ultimately, like... But wonder why she no, is ultimately is dysfunctional. Ways. Most of that stuff is past ways. Right. Well, yeah, this whole conversation. I'll cuss like, somebody like off real quick. Just, if I yeah, feel like I'm going to do you wrong or if I feel like you ain't right Yeah, because we too up for that shit whatever. now. Anybody got time yeah. for that shit? I ain't got shit. no time for that shit. No. Like, look, if I, if I feel like I'm not even about to take you serious, 
Like, like why we yeah, just I don't do that shit no more. Right. No. I stopped texting real fast. No, I do. I, I don't necessarily texting. believe you, but I'm not. Nah, I'm <laughs> off that, man. You gotta believe. Wait, it's no emojis. But um, it'd be like shit, especially if I fuck with you. It's like, oh, not. Like you should be like nah, she like she too solid. You feel me? I can't even, I can't even and move. I can't move half half stepping at all with that, and I'm not even about to do that. Right. That's what I was raised to say. Is, Sometimes it look, it, awesome, then it look man. like you on some fuck shit. No, but no, ultimately, but ultimately, but ultimately, if a woman really it is aware like of herself, her she'll understand and she'll respect it. Yeah, and she'll right. Keep it yeah, pushing. okay. Ultimately, that's like your parents you telling you to tire yourself. So you've you been dealing with somebody, and, and even if it was cool or if, it, or if it was kind of you know a little bumpy most of the time it matters more if it's cool though and then y'all just you never had no fall off no drop off yeah, I've been like in that. I've been in that situation and he wasn't no this, fuck nigga I'm you know my current life right he he, he didn't he didn't he wasn't a fuck nigga to no every, no okay that's good for you what? things that's just don't I, like that's good for you you have had fuck my, niggas yeah, of course. Everybody's dealt with fuck niggas, but I'm talking about in this specific situation. Like, it's just like you—you you just have to accept when things just is just not that. Like, right. I'm perfectly okay with that. Like I that's said, cool. ain't nothing bigger than peace. Word, that's true. That's definitely true. Usually, niggas is fuck niggas and fuck niggas. <laughs> yeah, nine point. These are all yeah, combos that have been happening like this shit. But it, man, but it, funny. no, but it wasn't fuck nigga shit. It was just or, differences in lifestyle. Hey, you said, this, you know? on the joint, you said. Uh, Bitches calling me a dub because I ain't want to fall in love with them. But that's true, though. Niggas, especially because niggas don't... Y'all catch feelings way faster than us and get mad that we not on the same, like, No, you, this, this So is then true. it look like... This is true. And but then I got to fall this, back because I ain't trying to fault. hurt it's you. It's women's fault. It's, well, once... This is... You can't... Okay. Women's expectations are too high, too quick. And that's only until we learn our... First of all, let's be clear for all women. Because I'm not about voice. to disrespect... I'm let's not even about clear. to disrespect I feel like it's my females. Like, you get to a certain age where you we realize okay get the fuck out of la la land like we can't be up in fairy tale oh. no i'm it's like that's like 18 to 24 mm. getting your okay, heart it's bro. different for everybody listen man i got it's old different niggas for everybody, that, that but, tell me that these women is still the same my nigga and the men are still the same okay right. it's different types of people i mean it's a and you also have to understand women communicate one types. thing to men women communicate another thing to each other like we all pretend that we know each other way too fucking well Y'all don't know what the yeah, fuck going on. Like, we don't. We, none of us know. Well, people like, be like, I know you. I don't know. Like, all right, we, I be, exactly. I don't really so don't know. So all of me. this is based off of perception, popular like, opinion, like stereotype. That. Like and all of this shit is interchangeable depending on who you talk, who you dealing with. Like, listen, man. I don't know. I feel Regardless. like these females do be wanting guys to fall in love too fast, and it's because. Also, where the but, culture is right but that's now. That's scary, niggas, though, man. No, uh, and that's, I, I just and want that's, y'all to know that. And that's, if y'all can keep it to y'all show somewhere, that should come from no, 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 no. I think lives. that's what it is. We're too open with it. I don't think we should keep it to ourselves. I think y'all should check that shit. You should check it, but but also make an honest. Like, you gotta be honest with a woman and be like, okay. Because y'all lead a lot of that shit on too. Men don't think don't it's necessary to communicate certain things, right? To certain women, it needs to be. I, I, I'm not trying to hurt you. You say you love me. I just gotta look at you. Like, well, oh. well, you can't do That's that. That's not that. I'm not you. Well, well, you always gotta be so dramatic. Just, but my thing, you go to like the extreme. You said I ain't trying to hurt you. So literally, why wouldn't you just say? I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hurt you. Yeah, girl. I'm not ready for that. Because then I'm not shit now. Now I'm not shit again. Well, well then you move. If she think you, like that, you move on. You need to write the wrong time, but you're like, boy, no, bye. No, you like grow up, hustle. Y'all already our parents telling us to tell on ourselves when we get in trouble in school. Men don't realize how far honesty gets you. <laughs> niggas get in trouble. <laughs> I lying. watch niggas do it. I watch phony. niggas. I watch niggas fall for this lie all the time. On you gotta I, yeah, take some, some heat. But I've the reality watch niggas is, fall for this lie. When you lie. Niggas do not fall for this lie. Don't listen to them. They lying to you, yo. I'm not saying a lie. I'm just saying. What is what is the lie? I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't I'm not, being honest with women doesn't get you nowhere. 
That's oh yeah, they the biggest dummies about that. They think that y'all just don't. They, tell y'all the don't truth. tell the truth the right way. Like y'all don't know how. Like y'all tell y'all tell you the truth tell. after you've done something dumb. You tell the truth by making it stupid. Like y'all don't. Y'all not up front. Hustle, I've told you so many times with even just about like how you approach women and how you deal with them off first conversation. Like all of that shit matters. How you go into things. If you honest about how you move as a grown ass man, women respect that shit so much more. Even if you a grown ass man and you stand there and say, I I don't want no intimate relationship. I don't want the da da da. A woman will be a lot more quick to be accepting if you are if you stand in your mm-hmm. truth y'all be so quick to deceive because you assume if she gonna act like this she gonna be crazy she gonna do this she gonna uh 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 and then y'all be fucked Probably up because in the half of the time that be the truth the reality is is niggas not as trying, long as you they not trying here, to fuck the situation as long as you gonna sit here and have two right. women really tell what you one really yeah, but, really but the reality is is that if you put the if you speak on it up front then you put the ball back in her court so she know exactly what she get yeah, into so no matter what happens nah, that's not true like, that's not true I mean I'm you, true, you, yo. but you're talking about a different type of okay. woman that is not true for but it's women out here that that does that truth does apply no, to No, I would like to say it holds true for you too that the ball is in the man's court. Hmm. It is. If he used to continue to pursue and do the right things, then the ball is in his court. It's always in your court. Even if I tell a woman, look, this is what I'm interested in doing, or look, this is what time I'm on, or look, this is what I got going on, so, you know, let's see what we can do with this, you know what I'm saying? It's still in my court regardless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If, I, always- if, I, if, I, if I show any anything towards you or anything like that, you're going to be receptive of it. You're not going to. If she is, if she is, her decision, her decision to continue to mess with right. you, I'm saying, yeah, because because for her, yeah, because because that's the best time she for when she's, she yeah, and then when she's done, if she feel like she doesn't get what she needs before she's done, she's done, right, and that's how niggas get friends zone. And vice versa. And vice versa, yeah, of course. That's important to say for real. Well, I mean, I was only understand. speaking for myself because yeah, I'm a woman. And that's all I'm you can only speak speaking on from a woman's perspective. Like, this yeah. is just a perspective women don't, of two women do not like the yeah. friend zone yeah. more than guys. Maybe nobody, nobody likes the friend zone if they don't want to be in the damn friend zone. That's plain and simple. Women be so mad about the friend zone. I've had Twitter convos that oh I think recently, God. as far as saying like things like you know, what I'm saying, speaking on the fact that this cool. Talking about me that that we can be in friend zone and everything is good money because you know we used to we used to date and shit right but I'm just like damn I can just tell like all the other niggas like y'all probably they fuck niggas to you huh and and I was on the damn like yo what would you and she was like yeah nah I mean I'm it's cool sure that we good like but I definitely had bad experiences I'm just like oh uh, that's that's interesting I don't see why because she she speak you know what I'm saying she she'll speak like about what she's thinking and shit and. It's open, so I don't see why a nigga. If y'all was gonna break it off, would be a problem. We could be cool. Yeah, women. Yo, it's because women don't she like to be f- niggas to be friends with their exes, so they not trying to fuck with that other shit. Guys why? Are like that too, though. We Guys literally don't like that. I don't feel like you can't be friends. Niggas be like, I'm why you need male friends? friends? What you need male friends for? You still have some niggas like them. Don't, don't think let's, male friends. Let's just not play the double standard tonight. We all do the same shit. No. You can ask any girl like yo. Just I literally you know. only had <clears throat> only girl you know. only people I trust is females, and I don't know why. It don't um, make sense. Imagine how like, if you got a girlfriend, how she would feel about that though. She, she, she can leave. No choice, of course. That's but that's yeah. who you are. But that's why you would have to be with the type of woman that, that is isn't possible. insecure about those mm-hmm. things. Not the type of woman that's willing to sacrifice that for you because yeah. that type of woman it's not gonna last. It has to be a type of woman that's already secure in herself. Things like that don't. That's not even something that yeah. I don't it need bothers to sacrifice her sacrifice nothing psyche. that we need for this shit to work. I need yeah, to that's not the type. Of, but that's the thing, people. But that's what happens when people get together. They try and force each other to sacrifice things instead of seeing. Okay, this is either compatible or it's not. These are deal breakers or they're not. That mm-hmm. means being whole before you step into something. Yeah. You don't make, decide you know what, what you, you want, want after you meet a person. Oh, no, yeah. this is what I need from a relationship. That's how people get fucked because they went into it because they look good, because it felt good. And now they're standing here with this intimate relationship between the two of them. And it's like, oh, our needs don't meet. What do we do now? 
But if you already friends. standing, you know, truth knowing what you want, that then you're from only going to meet those with somebody people. and having a yeah. sexual relationship yeah. before you actually develop. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. And that's what I mean by that time. That friendship, friendship is yeah. that organic shit. That's you got to meet somebody mm-hmm. before you have sex with right. them because um, people be connected. Otherwise, it would be weird. <laughs> Whatever, man. I just feel like if you standing in your truth every day, you could, then what comes your way, you'll just see the lesson in it. Yeah, I'm not going to count nobody day. anyway unless you don't give me head, so I don't see a big deal in when you let me hit. Sex ain't got nothing to do with it, man. It's like, this been my friend for... Sex don't have nothing to do. Y'all put time, more... Right? Y'all think sex is a lot more important to us than it is. It's, it's important. And I say things and then he just say... Just anything. Nah, that ass, like, Y'all hey, think sex is more important than it is. It's important. It is but like, important. We can, we, can get it. we can get it. You, you, you realize, realize that, that man, your penis, you you realize realize that your penis is goes in the same place. Thing. You go, your penis goes in the same place that a child comes out of for a woman. Like, this is a portal for us. Do you understand that? Don't ask me to disrespect my body. Don't ask this me to not take that seriously your for me. Core, your Just because soul. it's not that deep for you. It's that deep for me. Don't... Alright, y'all win tonight. We always win. Get a box up, ladies. Yeah, I mean, you only love once. Just need to know what that thing like, so one time is fine with me. Drake voice. SDE, we out. <laughs>